Hello my dear students, uh, today we are in a very important lecture of standard 12. My dear students, you know that the portion of standard 12 that you will go through the academic session to 2020-21, it is 70% your theory and 30% it is the practical. Today in uh, this lecture, my dear students, I am trying to introduce here a practical portion also. Okay, so we will do today the first experiment. The aim of uh, today's lecture, my dear students, it is uh, totally to enable you that how you can maintain the experiment record because at the time of examination, you are required to submit your uh, paper that is uh, the record of uh, experiment that you have done okay so uh, the steps i will discuss today you have to follow and you have to maintain your record notebook okay so let us today are the first experiment of standard 12 okay my dear students so it is the experiment number one Experiment one. Okay, my dear students. And here in this experiment, we are going to uh, study about the resistance and resistivity. The first experiment of standard twelve. Okay, my dear students. Basically, I will discuss the first about the steps that you have to follow. You have to mention in your record book, and these steps remember. The steps actually I have been discussed in standard 11 also. Okay, so the first step you have to follow it is aim of experiment. The first one you will write in your record book aim of experiment. Aim of experiment. All right, now the second step that you have to follow. My dear student, it is material required. Material required. My dear students, you don't have to write actually in your record copy in this particular order, but you have to follow these steps. Okay. This should be in your mind. You have to touch all the steps. One by one, I will discuss in this step what you have to write okay in this step what you have to write but this step you should follow while writing the record of experiment okay i will add here a clip of virtual class remember so that you will be able to understand how you have to perform the experiment inside the lab okay my dear students so it is the material required the next step will be theory and principle. Theory and principle. Okay. The next step that you have to follow it is diagram. But what you have to write actually, if you are doing the experiment of electronics the total experiment it is categorized in two groups one it is the electronics and second it is the optics if you are doing the experiment of electronics then you have to write here the circuit diagram otherwise if you are doing the experiment of optics you have to write the ray diagram all right remember don't write in your record copy both one I am just explaining you have to write circuit diagram circuit diagram if you are doing experiment of electronics and ray diagram if you are doing experiment of optics okay my dear students now the next step will be procedure uh, in this procedure my dear students you will write line by line the things you will understand how to perform the activity including all the setup 
that we will connect the setup this 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 step by step you have to write okay and remember this procedure should not be very lengthy in six to seven line or steps you should bind up the procedure okay now the next step that you have to follow it is the observation table observation table okay you got the observation over the observation table now what you have to do my dear students you have to do the calculation on the basis of this observation table and then on the basis of this calculation what you got actually result and last one you can give the precaution or the source of error all right precaution two or three precaution not more than that okay so these are the step my dear students you have to follow while writing or recording an experiment okay now one by one we will discuss all the uh, when I will add virtual class clip or the virtual lab clip there will be the aim of experiment in detail so I'm leaving this one all right material required will be there I will discuss now the theory and principle okay so let me discuss the theory and principle over here and diagram I will discuss okay my dear students so in the theory as it is uh, remember student how my lecture is going on you don't have to follow actually you have to follow the steps how I have been written over here I had written all the steps in that particular order you have to maintain in your copy here might be I am dealing here the theory then after I will discuss the diagram then after I will discuss the procedure but you have to follow the same order you have to write down in your copy I hope you understand now the theory as we know that we have to find resistance per centimeter per centimeter and the second one it is the resistivity all right yes it is the resistivity now to find the resistance per centimeter you need resistance and length of the wire resistance and length that we will calculate now for the resistivity we know that how you will calculate the resistance using ohm's law using ohm's law in theory you have to not give much more detailed explanation but in very short using ohm's law we know that at constant temperature and the condition of the lab the v is equals to i r so r can be written as the voltage Per unit current now this is the theory for the calculation of resistance now for the resistivity if you got the resistance my dear students then you can write the resistivity in this way we know that the formula r equals to rho l by a so the resistivity can be written in the r times a by l you have calculated here the resistance from this value you can use here the resistance cross section area to find the cross section area suppose this is the wire to find the cross section area you need the radius and for the radius we will use a screw gauge to find the diameter and then by dividing 2 we will get the radius okay so we will have the cross section area how it is pi r square and the length of the scale using the scale we will get the length of this wire we will use in experiment length of the wire as 30 centimeter okay my dear students so in this way this is the particular theory now in this theory you have to add the least 
count and zero error of the screw gauge okay so in addition with this all you have to write list count and zero error of screw gauge okay and how uh, you will write the list count and zero error of the screw gauge my dear students i will discuss in that virtual lab theory okay my dear student now here we are with the first steps aim of experiment to determine the resistance per centimeter of a given wire by plotting graph of potential difference versus current and hence to determine the determine is resistivity okay now material required here you can see in physics lab the first one it is the screw gears you have used in standard 11 battery we will use in lab battery eliminator one way key to connect it rheostat you have done the experiment in standard 10th voltmeter you know very well and ammeter you know well about this one also measuring a scale meter scale and this one is the resistance wire okay my dear students now you have to follow the procedure student first we will connect positive terminal of the battery with the positive terminal of ammeter and the next rest negative terminal of the ammeter with the positive terminal of the voltmeter now you are having negative terminal of the voltmeter that you will connect with one end of rheostat you can see in the box the circuit diagram also now we will connect another end of rheostat with the one side of key and we are having the another side of the key now we will connect that another side of the key with the negative terminal of the battery or battery eliminator that we'll have in the lab now take a wire of 30 centimeter length you can see it is in virtual lab video now connect that wire parallel to the voltmeter as we know wire always connecting voltmeter with the parallel now connect the key one way key now circuit will be started now we have to perform the experiment sliding the rheostat you can note down the voltmeter and ammeter reading gradually the ammeter will give you certain value and corresponding value of voltmeter you can note down here you can see it is the observation table the first reading we have noted down now sliding the rheostat you can note down the another result here the results we have noted down and calculated the resistance okay by sliding the rheostat you can note down more values okay the four value we have written now the fifth one and the resistance is been calculated to ohm okay students using that observation table you can plot the graph you can see over the y-axis we have taken the voltage x-axis we have taken the current and hence using this graph you can find the resistance so the resistance of the wire it is 2 ohm with the length of the wire it is 30 centimeter then resistance per centimeter we can calculate as it is given value all right now our aim is to find the resistivity for that we need cross-sectional area of the wire here the list count of the screw gears and all the measurement 
that we have been studied to find a list count and zero error. Now, using that screw gaze, we'll find the cross-section area of this wire. Here, adjoining the screw of the screw gaze, we got the scales reading and the value we got the diameter of the wire as 0.44 millimeter and hence after calculation radius of the wire we the students before going to the calculation of resistivity here I will teach you two things this was our experiment the one to determine resistance per centimeter student uh, you have to put the diagram okay the diagram kindly note down by pausing the video this is your diagram my dear student and you have to put this diagram after the theory and principle remember this was one of the steps that we discuss okay so this diagram you have to write the circuit diagram and make this diagram neat and clean and the second thing my dear student I will tell you how to write the procedure because in your experiment record book you have to write the procedure line by line but remember you do have to write the procedure in exam here the procedure you have to follow okay try to see here the first point it is arrange the apparatus remember students you have to write the procedure in such a way that you are performing the experiment that is in active state remember not in passive arrange the first point you are writing in procedure arrange the apparatus in the same manner as given in the arrangement diagram that is in circuit diagram now the second point clean the ends of the connecting wire with sandpaper to remove the insulation if any third determine the least count of voltmeter and ammeter and also note the zero error if any the fourth point my dear student here adjust the sliding contact of the rheostat such that a measurable current pass through the resistance coil or the resistance wire fifth point note down the value of potential difference v from voltmeter and current i from ammeter these are the five points student you can include few more points you can write in point six my dear students that for the measurement of resistivity we will take a screw gaze and measure the diameter of the wire so these are the step my dear students you have to follow you have to write in procedure now we will calculate the resistivity of the wire yes. now we will do the calculation for resistivity okay we have discussed uh, the data on the board uh, from the virtual lab clip okay my dear student now for the calculation of resistivity let me rub this one resistivity we got the data as had been calculated by the screw gaze also the first length of the wire length 
of the wire it is how much 30 centimeter that can be written as 30 10 to the power minus 2 meter okay my dear students yes now the diameter we have calculated using the screw gauge it was diameter of wire it was 0 0.44 millimeter that is the that will give you the radius also the radius of wire it will be 0 0.44 divided by 2 0 0.22 millimeter and that can be also written as 0 0.22 10 to the power minus 3 meter yes my dear students now resistivity how we'll write the resistivity so the resistivity rho can be written as the resistance times pi r square over length of the wire and it is we have written here the resistivity how much we got the 2 times pi 3.14 now the radius already you can see it is mentioned over the both 0 0.22 times 10 to the power minus 3 whole square divided by length of the wire how much it is 30 times 10 to the power minus 2 meter after the calculation my dear students you will got you will get 0 0.01 10 to the power minus 6 ohm meter okay so this is the resistivity of the material that you are using for the resistance and remember my dear students this is your second result the first result it was the resistance per unit length that you you have seen in the virtual class lab clip and the second one the resistivity okay my dear students now after that you can write the precaution the two or three precaution that you have to use while performing this experiment okay my dear students so this was the first experiment uh, i tried to explain you here in online class my dear student if you will be able to understand very well then i will teach you the rest experiment in same way and if you feel that there must be some correction or some suggestion then you can write in comment box because remember i am teacher i have to teach but i'm teaching for you and you have to get the benefit so in your way that you will feel it would be better i will try myself okay my dear students thank you very much for this.